Hey, Jeremy, I need to go get a tank of gas for my propane heater out here in the garage. I think I'm just gonna hear, go ahead and drive the 59 to town and get the get the tank exchanged because I'd like to run her through the car wash. took the 59 in town and got a propane tank for the heater for out here in the garage. I wanted to get the 59 washed off before before winter. I'm gonna get it pulled in here and get a cover on it and uh, see if I can keep some of the dirt off of it in here. While I got this outside, let's just walk around and take a look at it. I put this truck together 20 years ago now. It was in the early 2000s. I bought it in 96. It was a two-wheel drive, long bed, three-quarter ton, 235, six-cylinder with a four-speed. I bought it. It was in running condition, but it was much like Eliza here. So I got it together, drove it around for a few years, but I wanted to do... I wanted to make a project out of it. A guy I knew here in town was working on a J10 Jeep pickup truck. And he had a couple donor trucks sitting down there that he was getting parts off of. He had a short bed. 
J10 Jeep four wheel drive frame. I took a tape measure over there, measured stuff up, and thought, you know what? That fits. So I bought the frame off of him for, oh, I don't know, it was like 100 bucks. So I pulled this body off of the existing frame and started doing some body work on it floorboards, cab corners, rockers, things like that. The front fenders were shot. I didn't have a bed for it. I'd had a wood flat bed on it, homemade one, and the doors were shot. A place in Florida called U.S. Body Source who makes fiberglass parts. These are fiberglass front fenders, fiberglass doors, and this bed is a one-piece fiberglass bed. It's all molded. It's it came out of the mold that way. It's it's one one piece of fiberglass. So then it's got a two inch rough country lift kit on it. Got new BFG tires on it this year and new wheels. The nerf bars, you can see the mounts I made from them coming off the frame. And there's my front cab supports. Welded those up coming off the frame. The Rough Country lift kit. It's got a rebuilt 355 in it, 400 turbo transmission. It's still got the Quadra Track Jeep Borg Warner transfer case. I'm missing a parking light lens and I'm missing the two front corner braces for my bumper. This truck still needs a little work and I'll make YouTube videos of that as I do it. The cab is the original cab. The hood and the radiator support are still steel. They're also original. It's got a new radiator, all new accessories on it, all new brakes, all new lines, all new fuel system. These old trucks had straight frames. The newer trucks have curved frames. So what I did there is I cut wood, scribed to the frame, and I made, I made this wooden, that's four inches thick. I don't know if you can see, it sits on top of the frame. The bumpers are new aftermarket bumpers. It's got dual exhaust headers. It's got a Reese hitch piece of diamond plate bent in there behind the bumper to uh, cover that void. Diamond plate rails on top. I just ordered them for a short bed truck, a newer truck. and This fiberglass box are flat here. They didn't put the rolled thing on it, you know, so these worked real well. Uh, two little lights there, the backup lights. One of them got broke some way or another. Coming inside, I did put power windows in this truck. I got a vinyl insert in here. I still need to do the other side with the vinyl. The rest of the door's done. I just didn't get the vinyl put in. The steering column, the top half Chevy, the bottom half's Jeep. Uh, we got auto meter gauges. I didn't have room for all of them, so I cut the other two over here. B&M shifter, the four wheel drive shifter. It's out of, uh, all that does is high, low range. That's out of uh, like an 80s blazer, like say an 84 blazer. The Borg Warner transfer case is vacuum operated. It runs off that switch right there in the middle then you got the choke and the cigarette lighter radio heater wiper actually that's the choke and lights and that's the wiper and cigarette lighter that window switch is still hanging because the vinyl insert isn't in that door and i lost that garnish molding for this door that goes up around the top i used to have it i can't find it i don't know where it went it still needs a headliner put in it. I never got that done. 
these seats are out of a Dodge Intrepid. They're covered in black vinyl. Cup holders and the armrests. She's still dirty. I just ran her through the automatic car wash. Good enough for winter. I'll get her all cleaned up in the spring. I drive this truck quite a bit. It's not a daily driver, but I do drive it quite a bit in the summer. I put a couple thousand miles on it last few years. Uh, it runs and drives excellent. Mechanically sound. Um, it's really not anything wrong with it other than just all these little little details I've got to finish up someday. And now that I'm doing these YouTube videos, you'll be able to see all that. I'll make videos of it when I do it. Uh, you know, Eliza's not going to get all the attention. But uh, YouTube wasn't a thing when I was putting this truck together. Even if it had been, you know, who knows if I would actually made videos. Probably not. But uh, now that I'm doing them, yeah, you'll get, you'll, you'll see stuff with this. I think I'm probably even going to repaint it uh, sometime. And I'd probably show that as well. But uh, yeah, that's a, that's a 59 Chevy Apache mated to a J10 Jeep. And I tell you, it worked really well. So uh, anyway, I'm going to start uh, putting a, doing some work on Eliza here this afternoon and try to get a video of her made out by um, probably Sunday night. So we'll catch you then. Jeremy, later.